The Move Face feature allows you to translate, rotate, or offset selected faces. Each option has its own set of parameters to define the operation. Let's start with the Translate option in the Move Face command. Move Face is located in the Feature toolbar within the Direct Editing toolset. Notice the pull-down to select the move face type. Here, I will select Translate. I want to move this boss geometry to the right so it is not centered on the block. I will select the faces to move. Notice I only select the one cylindrical face. It is not necessary to choose the top face because Onshape will trim and extend it to keep the part a solid body. The top face is not moving, per se, but extending. Then I need to choose the translation direction. The translation direction is defined by an edge or sketch line parallel to the desired direction vector or a face normal to the desired direction vector. Notice I can drag the geometry with the manipulator or I can import a value in the distance option. I can also change the direction with the opposite direction arrows. You can also define the translation end type with an up to entity selection. In this case, I want to move the selected face up to the top face of the new block. I will change the end type to up to entity and select the top face. I can even include an offset distance in either direction if needed. The last option is the Reapply Fillet checkbox. If a selected face to move is filleted, this option will reapply the fillet. Notice as I clear the checkbox, the fillet is no longer included. Let's look at a more complex example. I want to translate this geometry a little to the right. I will select Move Face and choose the Translate option. To select the faces to move, I will use the Create Selection tool that will be discussed in a future video. Next, I will choose a linear edge to define the direction and input the distance. It is that easy to move complex imported geometry.